miles of sandbags form makeshift levees. Backhoes and bulldozers stack dirt and clay to try and stop the rising water, but in some areas, prevention has given way to protection, a struggle that requires a much different set of tools. Richard Slaveny is ripping away the sheetrock he just replaced last year. It'll make the work easier when things finally dry out. Yeah, we know how to do it. Experience that comes with living on the edge of the Red River. It will probably be right in here someplace. He expects three to four feet of standing water on the first floor of his mom's house, a lot less than last year. She's lived here 89 years, so, yeah. so we're going to keep her here. Right now, everything's been moved out or upstairs. Waves push up against the front steps of the house, and there's water on every side. The basement is already full. We just fix it up and go again. We can't buy another house. The city has bought out many of their neighbors, but with their mom in mind, the Slavonies won't or can't leave. And she's 89, and she wants to live her life out here, and we're going to make that dream come true for her. By fighting through the nightmare of another flood. Jay Gray, NBC News, Moorhead, Minnesota. And the water continues to climb here well above 35 feet at this point. Forecasters say it will crest on Sunday between 37 and 38 feet. That's just a few feet below last year's record flood level. Jay Gray, NBC News, Moorhead, Minnesota.